Hello and welcome back to lesson three in the BandLab tutorials. In the previous video, we learned all about importing a loop. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do some basic editing on your loops. If you have a look here, this is the loop that we imported last time. So make sure to go ahead, click on play and have a listen. Cool, we know that works. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to move your loop. So if you hover your mouse over the loop, you will see this little hand grabber pops up here. So if you just click on it, you can drag it from side to side. There you go. So I'm going to drag mine all the way to the start. I'm just going to move my cursor back as well. Now we've done that, uh, I've decided that I actually want this a little bit longer. So what we can do is we can actually loop this loop. So again, if you click on it, you'll see a couple of these options come up. So we're looking at the one on the top right, this little arrow here, if you click on drag on it, you will see it is duplicating itself. You can drag it as far as you want. Um, and it seems to, it likes to snap, snap it right here. There we go. And you can click off it. Okay, so say I've decided that I've done that, but uh, it's actually a little bit long. So I wanna crop it back a bit. So what we can do is you click on it again and you can just bring it right back to the start. And if you want it a little bit shorter than that, if you go down to this bottom arrow here, you can crop it backwards. Just like that. So if you've decided that actually you want to maybe chop this loop in half, say have the first half at one point in your song and the second half at another point in your song, what you can do is you can either play it through or drag your cursor. Say I want to chop it in this gap here. You come up to this button on the top left hand side and you click on that and it splits it for you so you have to make sure that your cursor is where you want it split and there you go you've got two individual loops uh, I'm just gonna click undo to get it back there you go that's the basic editing that you need to know for now on your loops